Hi, everyone. I'm Adam Babcock, and I'm the School Technology Coordinator at Spartanburg High School in Spartanburg, South Carolina, where I've been supporting teachers and staff's use of MacBook Airs and Schoology uh, for the past seven or eight years now. And today I want to share with you one of the challenges that I ran into that I was actually able to solve with Schoology and one of my favorite programs called Camtasia. The problem is this. Uh, we have a bunch of new hires coming into our district that we can't do our original staff orientation and device distribution that we've been doing and perfecting uh, over the past seven or eight years now. And that means that we had to come up with new ways to get our adult learners interacting with things like our MacBook Basics training. Now, I've also produced a number of our instructional videos over the past few years, and so that's where this Camtasia experience comes in. But this now and this challenging time that we're in is the first time that I really started to bridge some of the features and advanced features from Camtasia into Schoology. Here's how it worked. I started a Camtasia project uh, that specifically focused on one of our services that we support in our district. And by popping out in the timeline, this feature here where it says quiz, I can add a little marker at different points in the video to add a multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, or other types of questions to check my adult learner's understanding of the video content so far. Now, there's a bunch of other services out there that do this, but none that actually work in to a video editor like Camtasia does. So where I'm doing my picture in picture, highlighting my cursor and um, other video effects that really enhance instructional videos, um, I can now add those questions. And here's how it looks in Schoology. When I export this package with the SCORM content marker checked, um, I can go in to add materials and I can add this package specifically as SCORM. And then it turns out much like a lot of those kind of compulsory AED or first aid trainings do, except that they're not reporting back to my HR folks. They're reporting back to the Schoology gradebook and any professional development facilitators that are course admins in that Schoology uh, course. So it's a really great way to add some interactivity to your training videos as you're finding ways to get new staff on board with either your devices or services. Uh, and here's how it looks. Notice how I can't fast forward past certain points until I complete that quiz question. I've got a table of contents so I can jump around to my different parts of the video. It's a really great thing that you can pick up um, in a matter of minutes. Thanks for watching my five minute mentor series.